Force Kappa 42. Angel reporting in. Well, autumn is in the air, and that means for me that I now have to put antifreeze on my gears every morning before I go outside. Peachy! Anyway, this particular subject has a lot of big, fancy words in it that I'm probably going to mispronounce, so prepare yourselves. Item SCP-199. Burns. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-199 is to be contained in a 20-meter cubicle chamber with artificial light suitable for plant growth. Instances of SCP-199-2 are to be captured by Class D personnel wearing Level A slash Type 1 hazmat suits with SCBA before ripening. Instances of SCP-199-2 are to be placed in a 1 cubic meter sealed plexiglass container with 10 liters of potting soil until ripened and the spores are released. Once spores are released, the plexiglass container is to be vented with the resultant chemicals either harvested or neutralized. New growth is to be brought into the containment with other instances of SCP-199. Description SCP-199 is an unknown fern of the Hymenophilaceae family, related to filmy ferns, but far more tolerant of changes in temperature and humidity. The rhizomes of the plants are hardy, and can attach and grow to almost any solid surface, even within chimneys and on smooth walls. The rhizomes and roots of the plant appear similar to the thallos liverworts, but the fronds are entirely unique to the plant. The fronds form into bladders approximately 10 centimeters in diameter and will inflate with hydrogen and drift away from the main plant. The bladders, designated SCP-199-2, will float in the air and ripen over several days while the bladder absorbs energy through photosynthesis. During this time, the spores carried by SCP-199-2 will mature and the bladder's contents will change into an unknown substance. This compound has properties reminiscent of combined defoliants and nerve agents such as sarin or others. When ripe, SCP-199-2 will burst open, expelling its contents and releasing the spores in an area approximately 10 meters wide. Everything within the area will be coated with spores and the contents of the bladder. The gamophytes will be nourished by the resultant materials and the cycle will continue. Addendum 199-A SCP-199 was discovered in a province of the People's Republic of China, where several instances were seen growing within the chimneys of manufacturing plants, steel mills, and coal-fired power plants. Several deaths due to unknown pollutants caused local investigators to look into the matter, which led to the Foundation being contacted. SCP-199 is strongly resistant to most defoliants and seems to thrive in polluted environments. However, due to the plant using an unknown catalytic process to separate out hydrogen gas from water, SCP-199 reacts to fire explosively and can be controlled through careful burning. Uncontrolled burning can result in collateral damage as well as the premature release of the bladders. Personnel charged with defoliation should wear airtight masks beneath fire-resistant Level A slash Type 1 hazmat suits. Foundation medical personnel should be ready to administer antibodies to affected agents as soon as possible, with immediate termination being the alternative if unavailable. All casualties should be disposed by incineration within four hours of exposure, unless overridden by O5 orders. Addendum 199b. As an alternate means of control, several species of insects were introduced to SCP-199. In every case, the insects died as soon as exposure to either the plant or upon attempting to consume it. The precursors act as a very effective pesticide, and research on how to safely harvest them, as well as the basis for neutralization of the plant or arthropod, SCPs in general, is ongoing. Addendum 199-C. Recent intelligence suggests involvement by the Chaos Insurgency concerning either the manufacturing or distribution of SCP-199. Evidence points to an artificial origin, and the use of SCP-199 as a weapon of eco-terrorism by unknown agencies appears likely. Alright, I was never a huge plant fan, and this is probably a good enough reason as to why. Stay safe, stay alert, and save the environment. <laughs>